Welcome once again to this YouTube channel. Today we're gonna do two interesting things and we're using Google Docs. What we're gonna do is how do we import a chat that is in Google Sheets. This is our chat in Google Sheets and we want to import it and place it in a Google Doc document. After you have imported the chat, I'm gonna show you how we can also import this table to this Google Docs. So whereas the chat is a little bit easy, the table which I'm gonna do at the end is a little bit tricky without using code. I'm gonna show you at the very end, if you stick around, how to do that. In the meantime, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to see more beautiful videos like this one. So let's jump into it and see how we import this chart here into our Google Docs. And by the way, if you don't know how to do prepare a chart, I have another video which shows you how to develop, create a chart in Google Sheets. I'll leave a description below for that as well. So let's jump into it. So to import the chart, we go to insert, then there is chat over here, then there is from sheets. So when you click there, it opens this dialog here. So I need to look for the sheet in my drive where I have the chat. Right here, I click on it, it says select, I click select, there is my chat. I need to click on the chat, this one gets highlighted. I want it as a link. If you don't want to a link, you can delink it, but I want it as a link. What this one does is that when data is updated in the sheet and it updates the chat, it will also be updated in your Google Docs. So let's say import. And there you go. Advantage with this is, for example, here we have Agnes, which is around 900. When I go to my sheet, you can see Agnes is about 900. So if I change this one to 1000, you can see my chart gets updated here. Then when I go back to the Google Docs, there's this one which comes update. So when I say update, you're gonna observe that Agnes is going to be updated to 1000. There you go. So that's the advantage of having a linked chat. When the data changes, you just come here and press update and it updates the chat as well. If at all you don't want that, you can come here and you unlink the chat to the Google sheet. Now, when you go under insert here, you see the options that are there. We have image, we have table, but this one doesn't give you an option from the sheet. When we came to the chart, it gives us, it gives us an option to import from a sheet. Now, it gives you a bar column line pi, but we don't have uh, a table. What we are going to do, we are first going to go to our sheet right here. I'm going to highlight this. I need to first import it and change this one into a chart. How do I do that? Go under insert, say chart. This dialog comes up here. By default, it gives me a pie chart. I don't want a pie chart. I need to go down, right down here and specify a table chart. Now, when I do that, you're gonna see that it creates my table chart in this format. Can't do it, can't import the table directly. I need to convert the table into a chart in this format. Then I go to my docs. So I go insert 
the chart. Now I can come here and save from my sheet. And my sheet is this one here. This is my table that I want. I select it. If I want it linked, I leave it like that. I've told you the advantage of linking. Then you say import. So when you do that, you can now import your table into your Google Docs. So the trick a bit is you need to change your table in Google Sheets into a chart. As I've shown you, then from there you can import it because we don't have an option in Google Docs of importing the table. Thank you for watching. That has been it. And you can share with me other ways how you would go about it. And I'll be happy to look at them. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to see more videos like this. Like this video if you have found it useful. Thank you for watching and have a great day.